Now to demonstrate this, I have here a setup on an emulator called 86box, which emulates old computers. What I'm gonna do to trigger this Easter egg is press on Alt Escape at the same time, then release them, press Escape twice, and then Backspace. And as you can see, the Windows team here pops up, and you can see all kinds of names of people that worked on Windows. In fact, you can stop this if you just click on one of the names. And let's locate some names here. So Gabe Newell, for example. And you also got here Steve Ballmer. And in fact, if you press twice on someone, the whole background fills up with the smiley face. And this is actually a joke because the information of all the people here is placed right next to the bitmap of the smiley face. Now, a couple of years ago, Lucas Brooks discovered the key combination for this Easter egg. But the cool thing is that Steve Ballmer actually hinted about this Easter egg in the launch event of Windows 1. Bill called me into his office. It was a fury of frustration. He starts screaming at me. This was like Bill's 99th Windows bug he had discovered. And I tried to explain to him, hey, Bill, it's really, it's one in a hundred million. Most people don't hit the A, D, G, K, and S keys simultaneously at 2 in the afternoon. They'll never see the names of the development group pop up on that screen. Not once! <laughs> Bill? Bill was not to be placated, though. He said to me, Balmer, ship this thing before the snow falls, or you'll end your career here doing Windows. I walked back to my office. I called our PR group. I said, look, let's let the cat out of the bag. This thing is going to ship before the snow falls. <laughs> they did it. Last Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in 10 years, it snowed in Seattle. <laughs> At Microsoft, we're damn proud to have done Windows. Thanks for coming.